Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to our channel and for today's topic, let's talk about visa extension. So you can do extension by uh, immigration office or by border run. So if you are planning to stay longer here in Thailand, you wanted to stay long more than 60 days, then keep on watching. I'll be giving you the details, how to do it, the cost. But before I provide you the details, just please kindly subscribe our channel. Thank you so much! Alright, so guys, when you arrive here in Thailand, automatically you will receive 60 days visa. But if you wanted to stay longer, and then you have the two ways to do that. You can extend in the immigration office, and you can also do a border run. So how to do that? For extension, we have um, immigration office here in Pattaya, located in Soi Phai, Jom Tien. Visa cost for extension is 1,900 baht. You don't have to pay more than that. Just do it yourself. You don't have to pay for an agent. So it can save you a lot of money. Here's a trick. Um, I suggest you guys go there two days, at least two days before your visa expires. And go there in the afternoon so that not much people in the queue. Because if you're going to do that in the morning, then it's going to be a long line, okay? So just go in the afternoon. But don't go there from 11, between 11 to 2 o'clock. Just go after 2 p.m. Because they have a cutoff. They have a break time. So visa costs 1,100 baht. And here are the list of documents that you need to bring. Two pieces of uh, passport size photo. Your passport, but you need to photocopy this part of your passport. And the visa page. When you arrive in Thailand, you need to photocopy that as well. And also, TM30. So like this. How you will get the TM30? Very easy. Just go to the reception desk of the hotel where you will be staying and then tell them, ask them to provide you the TM30 for your visa extension. So they should be able to provide that. Okay, so bring that to immigration office when you arrive. Look at the building on the left side. Just go inside, get your queue and the, the uh, staff there will give you a form to fill up. Fill up the form, then you have to go back the line again because the staff needs to check it if everything's good. Then they will give you the number and go inside the, the, main, bu the main building right in the middle. So you just have to pay 1,900 as I mentioned. If you go early morning, you'll get your passport back the same day. Just have to wait after submit but if you're going to ask them expect it that they will give it back to you the next day for pickup so easier if you do in the afternoon just go there it's very it's, it's more quick in the afternoon it's easy then when you're just gonna pick it up in the morning just go there get it so it's easy guys all right so if you wanted to stay longer more than now you got your 60 days arrive up and arrival and you got 30 days extension in the immigration but you still wanted to stay one more month so if you want to say one more month then you can do the extension again I mean after you have just extended the immigration office they're not gonna accept you so the process for that the only way for you to do it is you gotta do the border run well you can fly out it's unlimited fly fly out of the country but if you want to save money you're in a tight budget you still want to stay longer just pay 2000 baht for border run this time you have to use an agent I suggest you guys use an agent instead of doing it yourself of going to Cambodia so we call it Cambodia visa run um, the agent that I'm using it only charged me 2000 baht it's included they will pick you up in your place and drop you off plus lunch coming back here so usually they pick up like 5 in the morning and you'll be back like 2, two in the afternoon so it's very quick and it's easier if you'll be with an agent because when you get there in Cambodia border so it's group you know like it's per group they'll give you a number the the driver will assist you automatically it's very easy guys it's very easy process so somebody will assist you there in the border instead of doing it yourself okay so 2000 baht if you find cheaper than that please kindly comment here in this video so that at least we can give it to the other people that wanted to do a border Cambodia border run okay for now the one that I found is 2000 baht if you need the details Please drop your comment and I'll be happy to reply your comment. So in any questions guys, just leave us a message here and please subscribe our channel for more, more, more info about staying here in Thailand and for some other countries that I'll be traveling soon. Thank you so much and have a great day. Salamat po, kapunka.